Alright guys, well you catch me down again at the 35 Acre Rest Syndicate. It's a Tuesday night and uh, I've been here for about half an hour, 40 minutes. I've got the house set up, all the rods are out so you know I'm fishing. Um, just recapping on what happened on Friday, I did a Friday night into Saturday. I had a, a two fish catch, lost one. Um, they all came to the Project A. I did have a, a rest bias on the third rod. Um, on the edge of the zone, but I brought that one in having received a take off Project A first I put them all onto Project A um, I had a nice common of 11.3 nice mirror at 13.5, very clean fish lovely in the winter colours and uh, before I left I stuck out around a kilo of Project A and a little bit of red spice so uh, you know I've given it three nights I'd like to have been here last night, Monday um, but with work and everything I couldn't get down um, so hopefully I haven't left it too long um, for it to work it's magic and they've, they've literally you know the bait and all the bait eating the bait and then cleared off um, so yeah back onto this session um, we've got a nice well it's not a nice really it's a north east wind it's not the best wind when the wind's from the east the fish bite at least it's very true um, it's meant to turn to an easterly tonight with a bit of drizzle um, not the best conditions but at least the temperatures will be up and there won't be any fr uh, frosts there was a heavy frost this morning so I picked a better night of the two in my opinion and uh, yeah what I've done is I've got here I've fuzzed two rods onto the zone um, and put out 50 baits both on project A and um, just preparing the third rod to put on the edge of the spot I noticed about 30-40 yards to my right a fish um, rolled, did a little bit of slurping. Now, my, you know, personally, I think it was a cab. It was either a bream or a cab, but the way that it was slurping, I know it sounds mad in Feb, but it was definitely slurping, and you know, it looked cab to me. So, what I've done is fuzzed the rod onto that spot. Felt for a donk. It felt reasonably. Um, quite clear on the bottom I reckon obviously a bit debris and stuff but um, I was happy with the drop I, and you know using a helicopter rig um, with, you know the good old hinge stiff rig as I'm using on all rods with a bit of foam you know I'm 95% sure I've got a good presentation I'm confident I've got a good presentation so it'll do and I've put 20 baits around that um, again on project A so you know I love catching fish on Project A with it being a new bait, you know, it's just exciting stuff. So I'm confident. Um, hopefully, I'll receive some action during the night. Obviously, I'll try and video it as best as I can, and I'll let you know in the morning how uh, everything's gone on. But um, there's no one down here, there's not a soul, it's just me. Um, that's it, it's Tuesday night, I'm in till first thing in the morning, I've got to get back to work. And uh, yeah, happy days. Leave to it. Alright, guys, well, I've had a fish. It's a common, I reckon it's probably low double again, but um, what I'll do is uh, weigh it and I'll let you know in the morning what it weighs. Um, I'll show you a glimpse of it in the net. I've just had it about 10 minutes ago, I've just recast the rod again. That came out to my main baited zone, about 80 90 yards out, and uh, yeah. What a right result. Absolutely ripped off. Um, I've only just got in the bag, got my head down for about 20 25 minutes before it went. And uh, what way to start? You know, pucker. This was again taken on Project A, just an awesome bait. So uh, I get the uh, fish sorted, I quickly show you, like I said, and uh, let you know what it weighs. But Pucker, what a result. Tuesday night and I've had one. February. Started good for me this season already. So Pucker, I'll show you it. There you are, can you see it? Nice common. and I get it out on the side it's quite deeper than what it looks 
There you go, look. Awesome. Right, I'll do the weigh-in. Morning, guys. Well, about half an hour ago, about half six this morning, um, I had a nice steady take on the spot that I said um, I saw a fish last night on. And uh, we went all night without a bleep. But I was confident on that spot because I've seen the fish. And uh, yeah, literally half an hour ago, I've got everything packed up now, so the fish has just been in, in the sling. And uh, it turned out to be a lovely common of 15, 15 3. And there she is, look. Absolute chunky, chunky fish. You know, absolutely perfect. This is again taken on the hinge stiff rig and Project A. Happy days. About 20 baits on the spot, you know, felt a nice thin thud on the drop, so you know, I was happy where it was positioned, and I definitely knew it was a fish. And uh, yeah, it turned out to be this little stunner. So, two fish catch on a quick overnighter, awesome job. Well, I'm just coming back from me quick overnighter. It's about quarter past seven. I'm just heading back to work now, and it's been a right result. You know, bagged another two carp. Um, absolutely working for me at the minute. You know, uh, obviously my pre baited spot that I uh, fished on worked. You know, obviously from Friday session they got onto it, um, and that was a zone again. You know a nice common on there um, and also the spot that I told you about where I saw that fish show last night only about 40 yards out that produced a, a fish um, this morning so I'll just have a quick cap recap um, it was about half nine when I decided to get back in the bag when I decided to get into the bag sorry um, but before that you know I did me uh, right up for my blog I just spoke to the wife to be wished a night and everything and uh, and it was only literally about 20 minutes and then it ripped off, you know, by the time we didn't rip off straight away and it um, put out a couple of uh, series of bleeps I got to the, uh, by the time I got boots on and got to the rod, it was ripping off so, you know, I thought it might made uh, a double figure but um, it didn't, it was £9.3 or £9.5 I'm not 100% sure I think it was £9.3, I'll double check, I've got it written down um, so after uh, you know got that fish sorted just left it in the uh, folds of the landing net I uh, put the rod back out again taking on project A it's a phenomenal bait uh, and I put out about 50 baits again around the general area nothing happened in the night uh, it was all quiet but about midnight drizzle came and an easterly wind got up and it was a bit of cold so I didn't expect much to be honest with you but got up at 6 o'clock just on uh, daybreak and uh, just looking out thinking better start packing up and about 20 past 6 the right hand rod the one that I told you about where I saw that fish last night ripped off um, so absolutely happy about that you know obviously found a fish and uh, put a rod on it and it's produced me it's produced me a cap so on that fish was another common and it went 15 15 3 that one so cracking result again taking on project a just loving it at the minute and uh, i stuck out probably about 50 baits on that spot when i left about the same on the other i'm going to try and get down friday um, do a quick night again Friday night, maybe you know, it's down to Saturday, but at the minute it's on form, there's fish feeding, I'm going to take the most of it while I can. I know it's going to get forecast snow for Friday, but we'll see. You never know, if it does snow slightly, you might get a snow cap, but yeah, cracking result, another two fish catch, and one happy angler. Happy, happy days, hooker, leave to it.